Hey, hey, Carter Sirach with Productive Dude here. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over another YouTuber's uh, note-taking strategy using Notion. And this is one of the most famous guys out there that's done Notion videos. His name's Ali Abdal. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. But I love his videos. They're, they're freaking awesome. So if you haven't seen them, check them out. Uh, I will leave a link to his channel in the description. But uh, today I'm going to go over his note-taking technique that is basically summarized into three parts. And this is why it's so powerful is because he puts it into these three different parts here. And the three parts are understanding, memorizing, and organizing. So Ali's philosophy when it comes to notes is that he wants to be able to not only write notes and store them and organize them, but he wants to be able to retain them and actually learn something from his notes, which is, you know, it, it's a it's a great thing to take notes, but it's even better when you actually can remember what you wrote about. So uh, that that's the what sets his strategy apart, and that's why I'm going to be sharing the Ali Abdal note-taking method today in my Notion, and I'm actually going to build it with you guys. So stick around and check this video out. Also, give this video a like if you are enjoying it so far, and if you uh, enjoy it at any point in this video, uh, drop a quick like. So what Ali does is he has a table essentially that he uses when he's first starting his notes out. And this table is based on a few different like topics. Okay, so l l let me just actually create it and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so first and foremost, let's just go and create an inline table. And I'm just gonna name it notes. And what he likes to do is create different topics. Okay, so these different topics contain uh, lots of different notes. All right, so I'm gonna basically have this topics section. And let's just uh, do a few different topics. For me, I'm going to use digital marketing topics because that's what I know and that's what I like to study is digital marketing. Ali is like, he went to school for uh, nursing and things like that. So he, he has a big biology background, but I'm actually gonna go into digital marketing here and use those different topics for myself. So for the topics here, I'm just gonna do SEO. I'm going to do uh, pay-per-click. All right, so I've got these three sort of topics here that I'm actually going to use. And you can add as many topics as you want, but Ali has all sorts of health topics. I'm just going to use these digital marketing topics here. Um, and I'm gonna delete these excess rows here. And I'm actually gonna open these up and add little icons to resemble these different ones here. So this one, we'll go with the, uh, the whole uh, site map thing. And then we'll go with, uh, for pay-per-click, let's just do uh, mouse. Then for website design, let's go with keyboard. All right, and what Ali does is he bases this on his schoolwork, so, or when he was in school. So he has different uh, essays that he links to, and that's what he uses as his study resource is these different essays. I'm personally going to change that out for just any sort of video, blog post, or course. Um, really any sort of uh, knowledge resource. And I'm actually going to modify his note-taking strategy a little bit and make it a little bit more flexible for you guys as well. So what Ali does is he literally just uh, links out to uh, different essays using a relation to an essays table. What I'm going to do in this case is uh, relate it out to uh, knowledge sources. So I'm actually going to create a new page here and I'm going to call it knowledge sources. And I'm just gonna go with the brain, that's pretty cool. And we're actually just going to make a table of knowledge sources, so we have this database on hand as well. So the knowledge sources that I'm going to uh, reference to are going to be uh, displayed in the form of uh, selections. So we're just going to uh, change it to knowledge type. Okay, and these different knowledge types will be things like YouTube videos that I maybe watch to learn something new, or maybe there'll be uh, courses. Let's just change this to paid courses so I have a good idea of where it's coming from. Maybe a seminar that I'm taking notes on. Or if you are in school, what you can actually do is you can just put different, uh, different ways that you learn. Maybe you could categorize these into actual classes if you wanted to. I'm just going to be putting in the knowledge types that I am used to consuming. Maybe we add books here. Or I'm actually not gonna make that plural, I'm gonna make that book. And you can really add as many knowledge types as you want in here, but for now, let's just stick with these four. And a lot of mine are actually going to be online, so I'm gonna add a URL so that I can reference these different sources. A seminar, for instance, wouldn't be online, a book wouldn't be online, but a paid course would have a link. So I put the URL there 
or a YouTube video would have a link. Or maybe I would want to reference a blog that I read that could also have its own uh, URL source right here. You can get more in depth. You can add different like authors and things like that. But for now, I'm just gonna stick to these uh, properties. This is kind of the bare minimum that you'll need. So whenever I read a new blog and I want to store it in here, I can just go to name and I can write in the blog that I want to uh, store for instance. So a great website for learning like PPC and different digital marketing strategies is wordstream.com. So I would go to like wordstream, I'd go to the blog and maybe I'm like reading a new blog on four killer Google ads optimizations to stretch your budget further. Okay, so what I would do is I just copy this, this title here and I could put it in here for the name and for the source URL, I would go back and grab the URL of WordStream, put the source URL in here. It's listed as knowledge type blog. You can also install the Notion Web Clipper, which allows you to kind of just take what you learn over here and bring it over to Notion and kind of just credit what you've learned. So let's just click on the Notion Web Clipper and we're gonna go into Ali Abdal note taking. I'm gonna hit save page. And then once it's saved in there, I'm gonna go over to my desktop app again. And let's go to Ali Abdal note taking. Here it's gone ahead and created this uh, blog post out of this Notion page essentially. So this is what the web clipper does. It just pulls this in. And what you can do is you can drag this over into the knowledge sources. And this can become your uh, name actually. We wouldn't even need to put it in manually in this case. And we can grab the source URL here as well. So I'm just gonna copy that, put it here. And I'm gonna get rid of this manual one that I created. So that works really well for like doing a blog or a YouTube video or something like that if you wanna use the web clipper. So this is a good way to basically gather any sort of uh, blogs that you might want to use as knowledge sources. And basically you build up these knowledge sources over time and you can also hit add view and display this as a list if you want more of a uh, you know, organized way of looking at all of this that's similar to my Notion Notes database that I've created in the past that you guys have seen. Um, and now we have a knowledge source essentially and we can just click in here and we can study and we can copy things out of here and relate them over to other parts of Notion. So once we have these knowledge sources in here, we can open up these different topics like SEO and I can come in and add property and I can basically just relate this to everything that is related to SEO in here. I'm gonna drag knowledge sources out here and I'm also gonna take my personal notes database and put it in here for now. And these will serve as different uh, knowledge sources. So that's the knowledge sources section that I just created with you guys. And here's a notes database uh, where I've been collecting notes for the past year. So what I would wanna do is I'd want to link the different knowledge databases that I've created. So. For instance, let's just use my notes database that I've had for a long time uh, because I have more notes in there. It's it's better than that knowledge source that I showed you guys how to create earlier. Um, let's just search for notes database. So notes database and hit create relation. And now we're just gonna name this notes link. I'm gonna click in here and I can simply add in all of these that are related to SEO. So from here, I just scroll through and find everything that's SEO related. Maybe how to write copy would be a good one. Keyword research process, GLM website content, how to write a 9.5K about us page, preserving SEO on a site move. I would basically add all of the notes that I wanna to link to over here. And then what I can do is I can go back over to SEO. I can open this up and I can go more in depth here within this SEO section and really just write out my notes in a hierarchical fashion. So what Ali does is he actually creates uh, different headings for different sections in his notes. And maybe the first section of SEO is like on page SEO. And then maybe we have the other sections of it, which are like off page SEO. And then we have technical SEO. So for on page SEO, I would basically just create a bunch of different uh, toggle lists. And these toggle lists are best created as questions. So what is on page SEO? Once you've created a question, you can drop it down and you can simply put in you know, what is on page SEO. 
And from here, this is where the active recall comes in because Ali talks about this. He, he likes to basically be able to come back and recall these notes and practice this, right? So he clicks and he looks at this, he asks himself, okay, what is on page SEO? He kind of quizzes himself. And then what he does is he drops this down and he reads it. And if he's correct, then it's kind of just a little dopamine hit. It tells your brain, hey, you learned something, right? And if you're incorrect, you know, just go through and practice again and get better at it and better at it and better at it. And you basically just add these questions in with within these uh, different categories here. Um, and this is basically how he does it. This is how he remembers so much and, and just stores this information in his brain. Another thing you can do is you can create a date property type and you can select next recall date. Okay, so a recall date is essentially the day that you want to study this uh, SEO topic. So I would just select, hey, I wanna study it on the 31st. And from here, I would also create another uh, property here of select and I would just say, uh, difficulty comprehending. And for this property, I might just put in a ranking system for how well I comprehend it. So like a one would be like, I don't get it at all. And like a five would be like, I know this like the back of my hand, right? So that is what I would do for the comprehending section here. Um, so let me just put that in really quick. And this way I can kind of just rate my comprehension as I go along. And every time I do a recall date, like the 31st, I would come in here, I would study this, I would recall it, I'd get better and better at guessing what's going to be behind this toggle list here. And then I could give myself a new comprehension rating. And as I go along, I get better and better and I select the next date. And the idea is to set in these recall dates and just improve yourself over time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this note taking video thoroughly. I hope you have gotten something out of it and you know, go check out Ali's stuff. He does some great work and you know, this is just an idea of how he keeps his notes. It's something that I want to implement more of as well because it implements uh, recalling the information, not just storing and organizing the information as well. So what Ali did is he made a video on this on his channel. So I'm going to link that below. You can check that out. And if you liked this video and you like my channel, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment below if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.